Get Response Tutorial for Beginners How to Use Get Response for Email Marketing. Hi there, you guys. In this video, I will be talking about Get Response right over here and how you can basically start navigating the software. So, if you're looking forward to sign up to Get Response, feel free to click the link down in the description below and you'll immediately be redirected to their site sometimes there are promos available for you to like access right away but i'm not sure it really depends on what location you're browsing the internet from and uh, you can basically get discounts when you start using the link down below but yeah we have here the dashboard of get response and i'll immediately make an assumption that you already have an account you already have everything set up you already have your shop stand you already have your site standing by out there um so yes this is the dashboard in its purest form well not exactly because i've already went ahead on and removed all of these widgets but basically when you start creating your account you'll immediately see a dashboard right over here right and this dashboard contains a lot of stuff like widget it can get overwhelming and you can see here different tabs as well but i want you to focus your attention right on this part you can see here the chat button, which is really important because if you immediately want to know about something or if you're confused about something, um, you can just go ahead on and chat with their support. They're really friendly and they can just uh, get back to you not within or above two minutes. So yeah, I think two minutes two minutes waiting time is quite long already, but uh, normally they would tend to your um, queries in just a couple of minutes. And yeah, we have here the contacts, email marketing and reports. So under contacts, there are a lot of things to set up as well. And, and under email marketing, there are a lot of options to choose from as well. And of course, reports has all the analytics that we're going to look for. And that's the part where we actually look at the results. But basically, I like to look at this three things right here on get response because you know different platforms implement this buttons this creation modules in a different way so you can't see here three tabs which has contacts email marketing and reports in some other platforms they don't arrange it right like this but what i like about get response is that they've segmented these three critical or crucial factors in email marketing basically so these three buttons right here are important for you to master and for you to pay attention to and so yeah i, I like that part of uh, i mean i like what get response did right there um some people really take for granted what they see on screen but it's actually a product of research and a product of careful study you know what people do what helps people be a lot more productive how to segment their attention and stuff like that it's it's a really crucial um factor for someone who likes to manage a good business or a good workflow right so without further ado let's talk about this part so this will show your widgets right when you sign up so your widgets are basically what you want to appear on your dashboard when you start to use all of its services and basically those widgets will be an overview of like a certain aspect or a certain um let's say the de department of your uh site or your account so basically you have like contacts department email marketing department and reports department and under those departments there are stuff that you need to uh i mean to you need access to like you need to be reported about how many contacts that i got this week or how many contacts have left or blocked me or deleted me or removed me from their contact list or you can check out the email marketing which is how many emails have i sent this month or how many people have trapped have been, have i i trafficked into my site using my emails and the reports they are going to have all your personal like for example the financial reports it includes that as well on how much you're spending on wet response but basically what i like to do when i start to put in my widgets is that i remove all the widgets right over here on screen and i start afresh like for example i go ahead and choose the widgets that i think are you know makes more sense for me and what i do and the work that i do so you'll have here a lot of options like a uh, quick actions uh basically this is you know uh what you want your you're trying to trigger like a, s a sudden behavior or something like an urgency but uh aside from that you also get to have the list size if you want to have an overview of how many people you're engaging with the sign up score now this is uh how you monitor your sign up rates basically how successful your forms are getting and we also have the contacts card 
can choose to put here new contacts and you monitor how many new or how many new people have been traffic or, or yeah ha, has trafficked into your site and what else we also have the workflow widget which is basically um shows all the work that you've done or your workmates uh then the total number of hours um and a lot more and of course you also have e-commerce widget but this is an upgrade option uh so if you want to use this widget you'll have to upgrade to their plan but yeah we're gonna go ahead and talk about the plan later on but that's it about widget it, it really depends on what you need so i want to uh maybe you can write down on a pen or paper or what you really need or what you want to do with get response and uh, once you're setting up your account already, you'll have an idea of what to choose so that you'll have a clean looking um, working software on your computer. And that's going to help your colleagues as well or your employees when you start inviting them to this workspace. And yeah, let's check out contacts. This is where you're at, where you'll add in the people that will receive all your emails or your promotions or the people that you want to involve in this workspace so you guys um before it has a different implementation so you'll immediately see lists right here on top but it has been moved under the contacts and under contacts you'll see this options where you can set up different things like your lists you can also search um yeah, search your lists by email or by name. But basically, guys, lists are your segmented audiences. So there are different lists for different purposes or different uh, businesses, something like that. It really depends on you. You can create a list based on different factors. But the most important part of creating a list is that knowing the purpose of each list. So how do this list help you with your business? Oh, or why is this list right here on what makes or yeah what makes this list unique from the other list so you'll always have to keep that in mind because you don't want to mess your emails up there are a lot of people who opt to subscribe to like for example to you in a more expensive plan and there are those people who only subscribe for the cheaper version i'd like to segment in my case i'd like to segment those customers so i'll know which emails i'm going to send to the other and they really have different prom promotional emails that, that needs to be sent so you guys this is where you create those lists this is where you segment those contacts and you can see here that a free account which is what we're using right now has a limit of 500 contacts so um when you're looking forward to use this only for free make sure that your audience doesn't exceed or doesn't go above 500 contacts but if your contacts go above this usually you're earning a lot of money so maybe like upgrading to the paid version can be a good choice but yeah maybe that's why you're watching this video because you want to know if if get response is worth it but hey i think yeah it's it's good it's a I really like the fact about what they did here you know they segmented the functions but yeah next is the segments or the segments <clears throat> so when you start segmenting your contacts they'll also appear right here so lists are let's say for example um, it's a lot more general compared to segments you can have segments under a certain list and yeah like for example if you've created like a list here you can click the list like for, for example this one and you can then go back to segments and then yeah check out what you want to segment from your contact list so basically from the lists you can still segment the lists and then go go on deeper right so the statistics right here okay so you can see your different cards right or different widgets but a lot bigger so this part is the statistics dedicated to the contacts alone so the general performance these shows data that you know involves how your contacts lists have been doing has it increased 
has it decreased you can see here um, you can segment I mean the data will show new ones the data will show deleted ones and it will show you side by side so you can actually have a clear overview of how you were doing in the pa uh, in the past 30 days yeah it will also show you contact trends over time so it, there should be like a graph here or something that will show you how you've been doing for the first couple of months and, and up until to this point in time but yeah this account is really fresh just so you guys can see how it will look like once you start using the platform or once you start exploring it because it will totally look different when you start using it already. You might be overwhelmed when we start using like an account that's been around for a long, a longer period of time. You'll be overwhelmed by what you see there because chances are it's already very personalized and it's already very customized to what the business actually needs. And it will really look different for when you're just starting to use it. Okay, so you can also see here how new contacts were added and how new contacts were deleted. So basically that's about it on this area of statistic. And the least hygiene is, uh, it's an interesting name because uh, essentially this is where you take care of your list. It says here, and you can just get rid of duplicate contacts right here on this spot as well. And uh, yeah. I, I like that it's uh, it's called hygiene because your list needs to be tended to because there are lists that, you know, just wastes the spot. So you want someone to take over that spot, someone who's active. So you can see here, um, I'm not sure if you want to, I mean, if you need to upgrade for you to access this, but this is where you customize that part. And uh, you can set up the block listing rules in this part. So the block listing rules will determine who's going to be going out of your list and uh, whose person is like not doing anything in your list at all. You know, not not active, but yeah. And it's it's going to be a really, really clean feature because not only that you're spending, I mean, you're saving time. You're, you're also saving time for those people. I mean, you're also saving their storage if maybe the emails kept on going to spam, it still like eats up your storage, right? But by the way, that that's what this does. And you can uh, delete contacts and block contacts here as well. You can check out the rules based delete. This is where you set up rules. <coughs> okay. The suppression lists is, um, this is where you, it, it literally is what it is. So if you want to create a suppression list, just click this button right here. And this is where you type in the rules of uh, how to get someone suppressed and put them right here on this list. So you can put them right here or you can paste it or you can upload a file. It should be like a code type of file. I'm not really particular about this, but um, if you want to learn more about this, there are separate tutorials and videos. I made for this one so you guys watch out for that but basically this is for the you know not a beginner feature already <clears throat> now the custom field you can create a custom field by clicking this button and enter the custom field name here so what is this you guys basically if you want to know about something or about a concept on screen by the way if you can't remember what you've watched here on youtube there's always this um, I button which you can hover over and it will tell you remind you what that is but basically it's not an in-depth explanation but you get an idea about what it is by just reading for example this one this is the name that needs to be like 1 to 120 characters long you can use lowercase English alphabet numbers and underscore so it immediately tells you what name should you input here so you don't be overwhelmed am I going to put a lot of a text or am I going to put like a lengthy one but basically if it's under the those um, values that they put in here, you, you're going to be totally fine. <coughs> okay. So you'll also have to select what type of information you need from this choices right here. You can cancel this or save it, but I'm just going to go ahead and cancel. And a lot more like for the import statistics, it's just basically you importing data from different um departments right over here but yeah i want to move on to the email marketing part of this uh, video let's talk about what you can create to send into your lists or to 
audience. Now you can create a lot of stuff like newsletters, um, a, B, a or B tests. You can also check out your existing templates if you have the RSS to email. Uh, basically, this is when you have an existing site already and you want to import that or you want to attach that to an email, you can do that here in this tab. In the statistics, this is where you'll see basically how your yeah how your emails are going. Are they actually doing the job that they are meant to do? So to create a newsletter, yeah, you can hit this button right here. And then once you hit on it, this is what you're going to set up, like the message, the name of the message. So this will appear on the list of your messages and only you will see it. And this is the email address you're sending it from. You can change it. You can add multiple emails, by the way, right here on your account settings. And the reply to email goes here as well. The subject line goes here. And now the recipients, this is where you set up. This is important because this is where the list that you've made come in handy. You can hit on add on recipients and then you can add in lists that you've made or you can choose to add in segments. You can choose to, this is like what, what I said, uh, more or detailed um, segmentation of your audience or your lists. Maybe this is, this is an email meant for a lot more segmented audience, not a general one. So basically you have to upgrade for you to use this by the way. And the design and content, of course, it's a different work. It's a separate um, video. It should have be a separate video, but the design and content needs a lot of time. Um, you don't want to put in or you don't want to put out something that looks, uh, how do I say it? Something that looks mediocre or something that looks um, rushed or, you know, without anything or without effort, you'll know those types of stuff. But okay, so the tracking is also important for when you want to set up this uh, page, you can choose click tracking, which basically tracks how many clicks e commerce tracking this basically uh, lets you find out what your contacts do on your site after they've clicked a link in your email. And this one is uh, useful when you want to track or when you want to trigger workflows. And if you want to have a more in depth view of what's going on, but you can set that up and you have to upgrade for you to do that. And the track link clicks with Google analytics, you'll have to have your Google analytics set up, they should be integrated with the get response as well for it to work. And once you're done setting your newsletter up, you'll have uh, choices here on how to send it. You can send it immediately or you can schedule uh, for later. This is for events or for specific events, holiday, maybe like payday or stuff like that. You can automate the message that you want to be sent to your list or to your segments so that you don't have to, you know, um, do it when it comes or when it's already there. It's automated and you don't have to spend your time doing it on an important day. Yeah, you don't want to be working on a holiday, right? Yeah, that's basically it here on the newsletter part. There are a lot more things that you can create, by the way, like the ARB tests. You can also check out the templates that you have here. And yeah, but if you don't have templates, you can always choose or you can always create a template. But to give you an idea, what you can do with templates is that you can reuse it to create reusable contents. This is very useful for when you are releasing different up or daily updates to your list. Like for example, daily contents, maybe if you're a lifestyle type of creator or something like that, maybe you want, you want to send stuff to your list or demographics daily, then you'll have to create a template for you to like create a message and just maybe change the, the content to change the image or stuff like that. The RSS to email is not really a beginner uh, vibe to create. I, I find it uh, really um, easy to create a newsletter at first. Start there. And once you figure out how newsletter works and how it actually helps you to build your new leads or to create new contacts, and then you can just go ahead and explore the A-B tests, which will give you a lot more in-depth overview of your customers and the people who like 
clicks your link it will actually do segmentation by using the tests in itself you don't need to put in a lot more work just create your tests properly because when you do that when you do your or create your tests properly you don't need to have more research basically create it the way you want the answers to be seen something like that and the statistics is basically where you see all the stuff that's been happening so once you click it you'll ha you'll get an overview of how all your um campaigns are doing in different platforms or in different channels so you don't have to you know um yeah by the way you don't you don't you don't have to go over them one by one so there's already like a statistics right in front of you so yeah this is just like a quick review you guys but i hope i helped you and gave you an idea how get response work and how to use their services but yeah let me know if you like more videos like this but if you like more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. But if you give this channel a thumbs up as well, it will be a lot of help to us, you guys. And I'll definitely appreciate it if you stop by once more. But that's it for this video, you guys. Hope to see you again on the next one. Peace out.